Yeah. So uh, the conflict of interest is he was my mentor in fellowship. So, but he he gave a fantastic presentation, um, which had a, a few different objectives. Um, and so the first objective was really to lay out what are some of the putative mechanisms that play a role in disease progression, and especially in progressive MS, where right now there's really a huge unmet need to have therapies for that subtype of MS. And so he did a really beautiful job of, you know, working his way through how do we see people develop progression at this sort of cellular molecular level. And why that would be important is that are there targets, new targets that we can, you know, get after to help limit that progression. So that was one of the main objectives. And I think he did a, a wonderful job, you know, uh, achieving that. Second was really what has he been doing on the research side and talking about what they found uh, more recently as it relates to remyelination or lack thereof. And so out of his lab, they identified that within an inflammatory milieu, there's a lot that's happening, especially with cells that help with remyelination called oligodendrocyte precursor cells, these OPCs. So those are the immature myelin-producing cells that have to be pushed forward in order to become mature and help with myelination or remyelination. And interestingly, what uh, his lab found was that in an inflammatory milieu setting, OPCs can actually change their face, so to speak, present antigen to T cells. And those T cells get revved up and become cytotoxic T cells, which then we know in the pathogenesis of MS, they play a large role in causing MS or one of the main players. And the cytotoxic T cells actually then can go on to kill the OPCs. So it's fascinating back and forth. Here you have, you know, good and bad players of the immune system and thinking that they're good and then they turn bad. It's like the, the two faces, so to speak. And so it, it was fascinating. I think there, there needs to be more work in that arena. However, just thinking 50,000 foot view, this could be yet another opportunity to target treatments where we can sort of shift the balance, so to speak, to help prevent sort of that degeneration or, you know, lack of remyelination that we're seeing. And then the last objective, just to mention, is he wanted to take us through a journey of are there uh, biomarkers that are newly being investigated or have been around for a while but recently made their way to the MS arena. Uh, one is a, a, a vision sort of structural a uh, test called optical coherence tomography, and then another is a blood biomarker, which has been sort of the rage right now, neurofilament light. And so he took us through some really cool studies and data showing how these newer biomarkers may be helpful in um, not only predicting how someone's MS may behave over time, but could there be a differential treatment effect with the therapies that we have? and monitoring disease over time with these biomarkers. So really, really uh, fascinating uh, Whitaker presentation and very dense with information. 